Hi, Dad, and welcome to another episode of the Wake Up Dad Show. This show is dedicated to you, the dad who wants more, more success, time, health, fitness, connection, passion, and all-around awesomeness. I'm your host, Dr. Scott, and on today's episode, I want to talk to you about the idea of challenging yourself, which, you know, we all do on a daily basis, I think, uh, to a certain degree or another, well, whether we're challenging ourselves in any of the five Ps. Think about, you know, you know with our purpose, are we, do we ever think about challenging our purpose or growing our purpose to be something bigger and bolder than it was in the past? And I think a lot of us will look at that, maybe not on a daily basis, but quite commonly. Our, our power, you know, think about that. Um, how many of us do work out or change our diet or think about those things? Um, potentially, again, on a that one could be on a daily basis. What about the challenges of parenting and stepping up to challenge yourself to uh, be a better dad? Think about um, your your relationship with your partner or your relationship with your boss or your providing. How can you make more money? And so stepping up to a challenge uh, is something that I think we all will do on a fairly regular basis. But there's something that's missing because a lot of the times we got to go, okay, well, well, I've challenged myself in this area, but I don't see any results at all. Uh, you know, why is it? Why is it you can put a challenge down and not see any results? Well, I think a massive, massive part of that is the fact that when we lay down challenges, that we don't create some kind of accountability for those challenges. That's the key to challenging yourself, Dad, is creating some accountability. And you can do that with yourself, uh, but recommended, much more recommended, is do with other people. Create an accountability group, maybe, or just one other person. You know, that one other person could be, um, you know, you could set yourself a challenge. For example, I set myself a challenge. Uh, This episode will be released, actually, on day one of my 30-day ketosis challenge. Now, I talked to you uh, about ketones in a past episode, so go back and have a look at that if you're interested to know what ketones are or what ketosis is. But basically, I'm doing a 30-day challenge, and over the next 30 days, I have set myself some some big goals. I've challenged myself to, to do some major things. Uh, my goal is, and this is pretty specific here, is to drop 7. 7, 7.55 kilos in 30 days. Uh, to drop my waist size by 13 centimeters, to gain 6 centimeters in my chest, and to gain 2 centimeters in my arms during that time period. So I've got some real goals set out. Those goals, or specific measurements for those goals, are what I've just told you. Now the goals themselves are to train every day, have a really strict diet, and to make sure that I'm taking my ketone supplement to keep me in ketosis. So that's what I'm doing as a challenge. Now, what do you think will be the major difference in me creating these changes and this challenge being a successful challenge or creating the challenge, getting excited about it, and two to three days in or a week in or two weeks in to go, oh, I'm getting tired or oh, I'm just hungry or oh, I'm sore or whatever the case is and quitting on myself yet again. You know, what is the difference? And the difference is accountability. That is truly what I believe is the difference to success or failure in most, if not all, areas of your life. So accountability is brutally important. Now, what I'm going to use as accountability is pretty massive. I'm going to use Facebook Live as accountability. So uh, if you're listening to this and you want to sort of follow me on on my Facebook Live feeds, I, I will be posting to Facebook Live at least once a day over the next 30 days. Um, go ahead and, and uh, friend me on, on Facebook. So send me a message, Scott Vatcher, have a look for me, or you can look under Dr. Scott Vatcher if you can't find, because I think there's about 50 or 100 Scott Vatchers in the world. Isn't that crazy? Uh, that's a totally other sidebar, but... Um, so, yeah, friend me on Facebook. Just, just send me a message to let me know that you've found out or want to friend me through here because I get a lot of friend requests from a lot of weirdo people that I don't accept. So um, send me a message or let me know uh, that it is because of this that you want to follow what I'm doing. Um, and then, yeah, set up a challenge for yourself. 
watch what I'm doing and and it might inspire you to make those changes. But if not that, then you know that's a pretty bold accountability uh, situation. Uh, have an accountability partner with your partner. You know, talk to them about what you're doing. Again, guys, the key to being a great partner is communication. That is so brutally honest. It is just just so simplistic in its sound. It sounds so ridiculously simple, but it's so hard for us to do as blokes, as, as men, as dads, is to actually communicate with our partners. It's just huge. And I, I'm not saying I'm a master at it of any description whatsoever. Just ask my wife. She would agree with that completely. But I'm getting better. And that's what it's all about, progression, getting better and better each and every day. Well, maybe not each and every day, but, you know, most days, you know what I'm talking about. So, guys, if you set yourself up a challenge, think about the five Ps. If you want to set yourself a challenge in your purpose, do you just not have any purpose and you want to set up a challenge to create that purpose over the next 30 days? Do you want to join me for a 30-day power challenge and just, uh, if you're here in Australia listening or in the Southern Hemisphere, to get you ready for the summer, baby, Sun's out, gun's out. Or, you know, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you can still do it. You know, just watch out for Christmas because that's, that's a pretty big uh, cheat time. And uh, what about uh, P number three, parenting? If you want to somehow challenge yourself there. Or P number four, challenge yourself to step up. Take that opportunity that you wouldn't normally take to maybe make money that you didn't think was possible. Um, and number five, with your passionate relationships, you know, step up create an accountability with, with your partner. Set it up so that you communicate on a daily basis for the next 30 days and see what grows and create some measurable outcomes for it, guys. Like I, I told you some of my measurable outcomes for this next 30-day challenge, and I will keep you posted um, on these feeds as well, but the best way would be to get in touch with me through Facebook to follow me on there. Um, I look forward to hearing from some of you guys uh, about you know your challenges and what you've set up for yourself, who you created as an accountability partner, and uh, what we can achieve together in the next 30 days. So guys, that's it for today. Dr. Scott signing off. And remember, an ancient proverb once said, for a man to achieve his dreams, he must first wake up. Dad, you're not alone. You are not in this alone, man. This is your wake-up call. We're in this together, all for one and one for all. See you guys.